but the Philippines, Singapore, Thailand, and Vietnam all have maritime borders with the country. The country is made up of five major islands and approximately 30 smaller groups. There are 17,508 islands in total, with approximately 6,000 of them inhabited. Indonesia is the world's largest island country, covering an area of 1,904,569 square kilometers. The archipelago's total area is slightly smaller than Mexico, but more than five times larger than Germany's. The multi-ethnic country has a population of more than 271 million people. It is by far the most populous island nation in the world. Most of the larger islands are mountainous, with peaks ranging between 3,000 and 3,800 meters. Indonesia is located in the Ring of Fire, making it one of the most volcanically active and earthquake-prone areas on the planet. The islands of Indonesia were formed primarily by volcanic activity and ocean mountain-building activity caused by tectonic plate movement in Asia, the Indian Ocean, and the Pacific Ocean. In the Indonesian region, two massive plates, the Indian Ocean and Western Pacific plates, slide beneath an even larger plate, the Eurasian plate, and the Eurasian and Australian continental plates collide. Indonesia's islands are prone to earthquakes and even tsunamis. The island nation comes in third place among countries with the most volcanoes trailing only the United States and Russia. Tectonically, this region, particularly Java, is highly unstable, making agricultural conditions in some areas unpredictable. The country has many mountains and 400 volcanoes, about 100 of which are active. Geological plates from Australia, Asia, and the Pacific pushed up to form Indonesia. A deep trench runs along the Indonesian chain's southern coast. The collision of the Eurasian and Australian continental plates creates a subduction zone which causes numerous earthquakes and a chain of volcanoes that runs from Sumatra to Java and New Guinea with a few side branches to Sulawesi and the Moluccas. Two plates collide head-on at subduction zones with one plate going over the top and forcing the other plate down. In some cases, the motion causes a descending convection current to flow down the ocean floor. Deep sea trenches form here, as do mountain building and earthquakes, and millions of tons of rock sink into the crust every day. Scientists believe that the island of New Guinea, which includes Papua, was once part of the Australian continent. The tectonic action and breakup created both towering snow-capped mountain peaks lining its central east-west spine and hot, humid alluvial plains along New Guinea's coast. The mountains of Papua stretch for 650 kilometers east to west, dividing the province into north and south. The Indonesian region is one of the most seismically active zones on the planet, and it also has a leading position in terms of active and potentially active volcanoes. It has typical island arc physiographic features such as a deep oceanic trench, a gigantocline belt, an inner volcanic arc, and a marginal basin. The motion of the subducted plate is nearly perpendicular to the trench axis in most subduction zones. A strike-slip fault zone is visible in some cases, such as Sumatra, where the motion is oblique to the axis and runs parallel to the volcanic chain. Volcanoes in the Banda Sea are the result of the Pacific Plate subducting beneath the Eurasia Plate. One-fourth of Indonesia's volcanoes are located north of the Sunda Arc in a region of complex tectonics. Several small plates have formed subduction zones that mostly run north to south. These subduction zones are responsible for the volcanoes of Sulawesi, Halmahera, and Sangihe. Many of Indonesia's islands are rugged relics of long-dead volcanoes. There are approximately 400 volcanoes in Indonesia. A string of volcanoes runs from Sumatra to Flores, with additional volcanoes in Sulawesi and the Moluccas. One third of the world's active volcanoes are among these 127. Indonesia is one of the world's most geologically active regions. On average, three earthquakes measuring five or higher on the Richter scale occur each day, and volcanic eruptions kill roughly 10 times more people in Indonesia than in any other country. However, volcanoes have their positive sides. Volcanic lava and ash create rich soil that can produce multiple harvests without fertilizer year after year. Also, rain can fall from high volcanic peaks. In fact, volcanoes are not just a fact of life in Indonesia, but they are life itself, according to experts. 
Volcanic ash enriches the soil, allowing Java farmers to harvest three crops of rice in a single season. Farmers in neighboring Borneo, which has only one volcano, are unable to do so. There are 76 historically active volcanoes in the